My name's Chris Carney, I'm the dealer principal and owner of the Mike Carney Group of dealerships. I chose to bring the Mahindra product to our dealership to bring a vehicle that is much more affordable than many of the competitors in the market. We wanted to bring a quality, reliable workhorse that was also affordable to fill people's needs. So part of the story behind Mahindra and myself was because this is a new product, it's unknown to a lot of people, it's unknown in the Australian market. Even though Mahindra has a massive history, they've been building four-wheel drive vehicles since 1949. So they're one of the longest standing manufacturers of four-wheel drives in the world. They're unknown, they've sold very small volumes within the Australian market. So my theory was to personally test the vehicles so that I could stand behind and understand exactly what this product is, what it can do, any shortfalls, any issues, real world testing, uh, and I can stand behind it myself because our business has been around for 40 years and whilst Mahindra is new to our business, we wanted a product that we could put our name behind, support and trust that would deliver uh, the expectations of our customers. With the, the testing program that I've done with the vehicle, uh, personally what I wanted to do was create as many real world situations for the vehicle as possible. Heavy towing up to the vehicle's maximum towing capacity, different conditions anywhere from extreme heat, 40 plus degrees, towing 2.2 tonne caravan, snowy environments in the, in the cold in, in uh, Alpine, New South Wales, as well as some very extreme four-wheel driving and just general high kilometre and, and work use. The test vehicle that we have, we've fitted with a number of accessories to mirror what most of our customers would probably do with their car. So it's got a heavy aluminium canopy on it, it's got a camper on the roof, it's fitted out as most of our customers would fit out their vehicles if they choose a Mahindra product. We've done around 34,000 k's of testing in this particular vehicle so far. Um, and from what I've found, the vehicle has performed extremely well. It's very economical, it seems very robust and comfortable, and I can't fault the vehicle. I think it's very, very good value for money and gives economy of use that's currently not available in a lot of competitors. We did some quite extreme four-wheel drive testing with this particular car. We took it up the Kreb track and did the old Maytown coach road, which puts some very heavily modified vehicles to shame. And the uh, Mahindra isn't modified, has the available Mahindra heavy suspension kit that's available for them. There's no increase in ride height. And we found the vehicle performed extremely well. It actually performed a lot better than even what I expected. And some of the uniquenesses of this particular car is whilst it lacks a lot of wheel travel and seems to lack a lot of ground clearance, in the real world we found that the two combined actually allowed the vehicle to easily negotiate obstacles that made vehicles with much larger ground clearance or much larger amount of wheel travel actually struggle and the car likes lifting its wheels in challenging conditions which we actually found was to the vehicle's advantage. It lifted the front end up over obstacles that some other vehicles that we were testing it with actually impacted so it was a, a rather unique uh, setup. My own personal experience, I've done a substantial amount of four-wheel drive touring across the country, everywhere from multiple Simpson Desert crossings, Gun Barrel Highway, Canning Stock Route, Cape York. Most of the iconic four wheel drive trips around Australia I've, I've done in various vehicles over the years. Uh, I've also got experience in motorsport and rallying, both uh, tarmac and gravel. I spent a long time as the used vehicle valuer within our business and that exposed me to a lot of products from other manufacturers at various points within their service life and it's a great amount of experience to be able to impart into the testing of these vehicles and really put them through their paces and try and give my opinion, but I feel a very uh, well-grounded opinion on uh, 
the actual real world performance of, of the Mahindra product. The Mahindra pickup is quite popular in the rural market with graziers as well as rural workers and country people in general because it is just simple, reliable and economical. We've had the car for a year and uh, short of trying to break it, we've tested quite extensively and I believe that if you were to put your faith in this product, you'd be more than happy.